Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm back working on the RE5 again here today and I wanna show you what I'm up to. My goal here for today is to get the compression checked. So I've got my rotary engine compression tester, which I've explained before came with this size of um, thread, which is the spark plug for a Mazda RX-7. Unfortunately, the RE5 is different. So it's quite a bit larger as you can see here. So I found, I was able to find through a local uh, auto parts supplier, this adapter, excuse me, which goes from this large thread of the RE5 to the small thread of the uh, RX-7. But we have a problem. The adapter, it threads in, but only by about one or two threads and then it bottoms out it bottoms out on the uh, block i guess you'd say right there so we're gonna have to get creative so what i've decided i could do is to take the uh, spark plug like would have been in the re5 and weld this adapter that i bought over the top of it because it has the correct size internal thread to match my compression tester the trick is I need to get all this porcelain out of the way. So I've got my safety glasses on. All right, here it goes. Well, that was easy. Just need this long thread, something to weld my adapter to. I'm over here at the drill press. We're gonna give that a try. That was a DeWalt titanium drill bit. Speed tip. And it, this ceramic, is really tough stuff. If you can see that. The drill bit drilled the copper wire out of the center, but it does not want to take the ceramic out of it. got a hole. Now I just want to be sure I've got all that uh, ceramic debris. There's also a little metal ring in there. I want to get that out. Don't want anything falling into the engine while we're messing around with it here. Yeah, that was a bit of a challenge. I ruined two or three drill bits and uh, made a little bit of a mess here, but I don't know if any of you have ever tried to drill the center out of a spark plug, but that's what it looks like inside, I guess. Once you get the ceramic and the copper. All right, so I've got the spark plug housing here, the original spark plug with the ceramic and everything removed from it. And then I've got the adapter I bought that goes to the metric spark plug hole there uh, for the spark plug like comes in the RX-7. And I am gonna weld these two together. <coughs> See what we can do. There may be an adapter somewhere on the market that would do this size to the other size with a long barrel like this, but I couldn't find it. If any of you RE5 guys know where something like that is, let me know, but we've done the, uh, the farmer engineering way of doing it. Made our own adapter. That weld has to be airtight for this to work. I think it looks pretty good. We'll let that cool out. We'll see what happens. All right, so the adapter piece that I made has cooled and it fits. Of course it does, it's the original spark plug and that piece, so that's gonna work fine there. That part's ready to go for the compression test, but I wanna err on the safe side on this bike since parts are uh, kind of scarce. I wanna make sure my apex seals 
are ready to go. So you saw me in one of my first videos, I put some oil down the spark plug hole, but I went ahead and removed the radiator here and I'm gonna remove the exhaust system so that I can see the apex seals in the rotor housing right in here. And uh, my plan is to maybe take and, and uh, put a little lubricant on them, inspect them, make sure everything's ready. I may end up letting these sit for a little bit, and let this oil soak in and then try them here in a bit. Those on the main uh, manifold right there are really rusty looking. Well, it's been a couple hours and the uh, penetrating oil's had time to set and I've got the nuts broke loose on the exhaust manifold here. I'm just loosening up the last two. I went ahead and pulled the side pipes off. So we're gonna get these two nuts off and see what we've got. Okay, the exhaust manifold is off. Now we can see the rotor. I have to rotate it a little bit to be able to see the apex seal here. So, hopefully you all can see this. I've got you kind of precariously leaning up here on a stool and you can see one apex seal here and I can wiggle it with my finger. It's a good sign, it's not stuck. I'm gonna um, rotate the bike over here using the Kickstarter and just with my hand so you all can see what's happening in there. You might notice some oil coming out as it rotates around. That is the oil I put in a while back in one of the earlier videos to try and help lubricate the seals in the anticipation of starting this bike. Well, good news. All three Apex seals are springy and seem to be loose. What I can feel of both of the sides of the rotor housing and the what I can reach inside, it all seems pretty good. So it's looking like we can test the compression real soon, maybe tomorrow. <laughs>